Beautiful day, Patriots. How are you? Oh, everything happens for a reason. It's just fantastic. The whole reason why I got locked out of Twitter is because of for me to discover something. And I did. Now, what's happened here is that everybody has a problem on and what timestamps are we going to use? Everybody's confused about that. And I totally understand that. What the kind of the basic is, if we went to 524, basically it would show us the clues on how to do the timestamp and gap code. The real messages are in between the two messages, the time in between. Okay. Now what's happening is everybody's, you know, having a hard problem about how can we decide on which timestamps to use. The message is in the gap, but we still have people confused about this. The reason I was locked out of Twitter is because now I can't go and read POTUS Trump's Twitter messages. So I had to figure out what I was going to be able to do. What I did is I went to the qmap.pub. I noticed that they had a, um, a box that you can push and you can have all of POTUS Trump's tweets displayed there. And I thought, well, wonderful. I'll go take a look at there. Well, what I noticed is that the timestamps that I see is the same timestamps that the Q posts see. So, all Q posts, excuse me, all Twitter tweets that POTUS Trump tweets go to qmap.pub. qmap.pub locks in the tweet with a timestamp that matches the QMAP timestamp. Both the POTUS Trump's tweet and the QMAP timestamps. They match identically. So if you went to, right now, to QMAP.pub and looked, you will see this is uh, the 10th, January 10th. POTUS Trump's in Texas right now, looking at the border wall. I'm almost sure it's the 10th, right? So if you look, you will see on your own, if you go to POTUS Trump's Twitter, you will see that his first tweet was 24 minutes past the hour. Doesn't matter what hour here. But if you go to the qmap.pub and look at theirs, push on POTUS tweets also, you will see that his first tweet of the day came in at 524. Also on the qmaps, it shows 524. You can just go to the qmap right now, just hit refresh. You're going to see the old Q drops about um, Ginsburg, I believe is who it was, right? Is that what we were talking about? 25 years since Ginsburg. And, but if you hit refresh with POTUS tweets on it, you will see that his tweet comes in and his gets logged in at 214. So we now have the official place to use all stamps, time stamps. We can all go to the same place. We can all go to the qmap.pub to all look at what timestamp we are going to be looking at. Why would the qmap.pub use a different timestamp than, uh, than they want us to look at? They want us to look at both the Twitter, POTUS. They want us to look at QDrops. They want us to look at the military. They want us to look at the timestamps. Timestamps are important. See where I'm following with this? So we all now have a place to go to and say we're going to use all the same numbers on the same timestamp no matter where you are in the world. We go to qmap.pub. Patriots, everything happens for a reason. God bless America.